What's up everybody, Jay Strange, your KC seller with 3 Max Lee Realtors, and today we are at Stone Pillar Winery. We're gonna be doing a little winery tour, showing you uh, kind of what they have to offer out here. So make sure to stick around to find out more. Okay, now before we go up to Stone Pillar Winery and take a look around and show you everything that I got going on, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome. This channel is all about what it's like to eat, sleep, live, work, play here in the entire greater Kansas City area, both Missouri and Kansas side. We do neighborhood tours, we do city features, we do features like this where we're just uh, focusing on, on a local uh, venue. Uh, we do talking videos where we're just talking about the market or giving advice on things. Uh, so that, that's what this channel is about. If that's something that uh, you might be interested in, you might like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then the notification bell so you are notified every time I make a new video. Uh, I am a licensed realtor in the state of Kansas and Missouri. So as much as I do like making these videos for you guys and teaching you all about Kansas City, I would love to be your go-to when moving here to the area. So just give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever it is. I will call you back, I will respond. Uh, I am the only person that does that, so you're dealing directly with me, and just know I got your back moving to Kansas City. Let's go check it out. Really, no matter which part of Kansas City you're in, there are a lot of wineries. Again, we're here on the Kansas side in Olathe. Uh, we, we featured, we did a small feature on Casey Wine Co. in Olathe. We're here at this one today. But let's say you're on the northwest part of uh, Kansas City. Um, you got Pirtle up there in Weston. Um, you, you know, if you're straight north, you got a great winery in Smithville. Uh, there's a winery out in Excelsior Springs, kind of on the northeast. And even down in Lee Summit, there's Stonehouse Winery. So really wherever you are in the Kansas City area, there are plenty of different winery options for you to enjoy. Just enjoying a uh, nice beverage here. Uh, so with it being uh, a winery, right, they have several different kinds of wine here. But uh, today we wanted to try one of the uh, seasonal drinks, which is actually the uh, apple pie cider, right? Uh, two, uh, 5.2 percent, I believe it was. Um, pretty good, actually. So uh, kind of tastes like candy-ish. I don't know. Doesn't really taste like alcohol, so there's that. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> um, you kind of see they have this fire pit area right behind me here. We got the vineyards out there. Uh, one of the cool things they do here is they actually have concerts and live music every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, pretty much throughout the entire season, right? And kind of depending on what's going on, kind of determines the price point. A lot of times it's just a $5 cover. Um, sometimes it's more than that though, depending on, on what's going on. Uh, and you can rent uh, this patio section, or they have another uh, inside venue right over here where some of the bands play. Um, it might be, uh, it might actually be like a group that comes in and does an actual concert. It might just be acoust acoustic, acu acoustic. You know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> might, might be more, more that vibe. Um, it's just a really cool spot uh, to come hang out, enjoy some music, enjoy a nice drink, and really just support uh, a local business here in Olathe. So, During the concerts, they do try to have food trucks out here, and they said that a lot of times they do have them, just don't necessarily 100% count on that because they don't always get them in, but most of the times they have food trucks out here as well. So, um, But in addition to the concerts, they have a lot of other stuff that goes on out here at the winery as well. So uh, I actually... Uh, have a little cheat sheet here. So I'm gonna kind of look down at that and go over some of the other events just so you can kind of get an idea of what else they have here. Um, and what this is, this is October. So we'll start, we'll start here. Uh, they have an apple cider donuts and cider growler weekend uh, coming up on October 15th and 16th. They do a Toys for Tots and Santa on December 10th. Um, and then they also light up the vines and do a walk. So they actually have 
lights that go through the vines. At nighttime, they turn them on and it lights everything up. It's pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then uh, that's Friday and Saturday evenings throughout December. Um, but taco truck and Tuesdays in the summertime, the acoustic music Sundays, uh, they do yoga here on Sundays, um, 11 to noon. They do sipping shops throughout the year, so like wine tastings, learn about wine. So it's not just the, it's not just the concerts. Um, they even said they do like cookie decorating classes out here. So really it's just a great space to do all sorts of events and interact with other people and enjoy a glass of wine while you're doing it. One of the really nice things about this winery specifically is the ease of access to it, the location of it. We are out here in Olathe, but it's right off of K10 in Woodland, and you just come south just a little bit, and you're right here. So it's really easy to get to no matter which direction you're coming from. Um, some of the other wineries that I mentioned um, in the video aren't quite as easy to get to, um, or they're quite a ways away from the greater Kansas City area as a whole. So this one's just really convenient and you should definitely come check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's uh, video tour on Stone Pillar Winery. If you're here in the Lake area looking for something fun to do, definitely stop by and check it out. Enjoy a nice glass of wine or maybe even uh, apple pie cider. Uh, very good. Um, and you know, if you're looking to, to move to Kansas City or maybe sell in Kansas City and move to a different part of Kansas City, I would love to be your guy. So uh, again, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever it is, just reach out. Know I got your back uh, when doing anything real estate related here in Kansas City. Until the next video, have a great day.